Guys, this tea is really good. It is a cookie black tea. It came in my Sips by box and I've really been enjoying trying the new teas. Um, I'll leave a link down below. If you happen to be interested, you can get $5 off your first box. If you like tea, um, it's a really great uh, way to try out some new teas. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and today we will be doing kind of a part two of my morning routine. If you are new here, welcome. Take a moment, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this kind of content, leave a thumbs up letting me know you want more of this style of video. So like I said, today is kind of a part two of my morning routine series. In the last one, I kind of went through all of my semi-hydro plants and showed you how I care for those on a week-to-week -week basis. And this week, I thought I would show you how I care for my plants that are in soil. So this will be kind of a watering and feeding routine. I try to alternate my weeks so that I'm doing semi-hydro one week and feeding my plants another week and not having like a ton of work. I've got a lot of plants, so I like to kind of keep that work to a minimum. If you've watched any of my other watering or feeding videos, you know that I subscribe kind of to the mantra, feed weekly, weekly. Now, I don't feed my plants every single week. I think that would be way too much, even if I was diluting my food quite a bit, uh, but I kind of keep that generally in mind. So maybe every other week, every three weeks, I'm feeding a very, very weak dilution of my plant food. When I take you over to the sink to show you kind of how I go through this routine, I'll talk a little bit more about the actual proportions that I use and the products that I like to use as well. One more thing to note, this is kind of my spring and summer, even into fall kind of routine. Through the winter, I probably will do this feeding maybe once a month, maybe a little bit longer, depending on if the plants are putting on any new growth or not. So I've got two different kind of ways that I feed my plant that I will show you. So I've got like my big plants that don't really move, kind of like the Monstera that's behind me. His name is Hulk because he's big and he's green. So with a big plant like this, I will pour in a little tiny bit of water, as you'll see, just kind of prepping the soil. I don't want to flood the plant um, and overwater it. So I'll just pour a little tiny bit of water on top of the soil to kind of prime the soil. And then I'll go ahead and come back with my plant food, pour a little bit of that on top as well. Again, I don't want to overwater these plants because even though they do have drainage, I don't want to move them. I don't want to empty out um, any extra water in the bottom of the pots. So I just try to take it easy with any water and food that I'm putting on these plants. So with my smaller plants, it's a lot easier. I take them over to the sink, I let some water drain through them, and then I go ahead and pour the plant food on top of that. So I will take you over to the kitchen and I will show you how I water my smaller plants. Okay guys, welcome back to my kitchen sink for another week of caring for my plants. Um, so as you can see, I gathered up a bunch of the plants here behind me. I try to stick to gathering plants if I can from one room or one area or maybe even just one type like all of my Hoyas. That way if I do get interrupted and I'm not able to finish everything in one day or one sitting that then I know, oh, I did all the plants in my plant room or, oh, I watered all my Hoyas and I fed all my Hoyas. So that's kind of the logic of how I gather my plants. I want to talk briefly about the products that I use. Um, I do have the miracle Grow indoor plant food. This one, I, I'm not super fond of the miracle Grow brand itself. I don't have any problems with it, but I'm not particularly attached to it. What I do like is that this is the feeds instantly. 
it's already pre-diluted. So what they're telling you on the label to do is to take this and squirt a couple pumps directly into your plant after watering. Um, I don't necessarily do that, but I like that it's already pre-diluted. So I just add a couple pumps of this into my watering can, right? So like maybe one, two, into about that size watering can. And then next I add a product that will come as no surprise to you if you've been around my channel at all. I swear by this product. It goes in my indoor plants. It goes in my outdoor plants. It goes everywhere. This is Super Thrive. Um, I think it's awesome. It does have kind of a fishy smell. Usually only lasts for me maybe a day after feeding, um, so it's not too bad. And I find I have to be right next to the plant in order to smell it. Um, but I do add a couple drops of Super Thrive. I'll just take my dropper. So I do add just a couple of drops of Super Thrive also into that watering can. And then I just fill it up with water. Now, if I was going to water um, some of my more delicate plants, I would certainly want to use filtered water for this. Um, but since I'm going to probably water my Hoyas and such with it, I'm just going to stick with regular tap water. So like I said, I like to take my plants, I like to rinse them through with a little bit of water first, right? And I try not to flood the plant too much, but I get a little water flowing through the bottom just to prime the soil so that there's not one spot where a bunch of food can gather and burn the roots. And then just a little tiny bit of that nutrient water. And again, drain. Now, if you felt like you had a particularly delicate plant or that maybe you accidentally added too much, you could certainly rinse it through with water one more time. Um, but I wanna leave as much, since I already use a very diluted formula, I want to keep as much as I possibly can in this plant. you guys enjoyed seeing kind of that routine of how I care for my plants. A couple of you commented on my last video that it seemed like a lot of plants to care for in a single day and you are absolutely right. Um, so often it's broken up over the course of a couple days. I do like to keep my feeding within a day or two of each other so I try to do it all in one weekend if I possibly can. It just keeps it easier that way so I'm not keeping some sort of a spreadsheet of when was the last time I watered my Monstera? When was the last time I watered my Hoya? When was the last time? So I try to keep some sort of routine going um, and that's just the easiest way I've found is to kind of do everything in one morning or at the very least in one weekend. Make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know if you enjoyed this video and how you choose to feed and care for your plants, if it's something similar to this or if you have a little different routine for caring for your plants. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys with another video very soon. Bye.